what is a percentage now percentage is simply a fraction where the denominator is 100 so 20 percent is same as 20 over 100 that is 1 fifth and 50 percent is one half and 100 percent is one whole the percentages that i have written above we can see them here this one is 100 percent and 50 percent is one half 20 percent is one fifth and zero percent is zero now it is therefore very easy to convert percentages to fractions we simply uh, put the number in the numerator and uh, put 100 in the denominator we put the number here and put the denominator as 100 and if it cancels down we cancel it to uh, get the simplified form of the fraction so let's say we have 15 percent we know it's 15 over 100 or 15 hundreds that is cancelled down to 3 twentieths right if we have let's say 37 and a half percent this is same as 37 and a half over 100 that is equal to 75 over 200 this is same as 3 over 8 or 3 eighths now here we doubled the numerator and the denominator of 37 and a half hundreds to get 75 over 200 and then we cancelled them by 25 to get our final answer 3 eighths to convert fractions to percentages uh, we simply multiply top and bottom of the fraction uh, so that we get 100 in the denominator so let's say we have 15 hundreds now here the denominator is already 100 so we don't need to multiply with anything we can simply write it as 15 percent but if the denominator is 50 let's say 8 over 50 or 8 50 eighths we want to convert it into percentages now we multiply the top and bottom by 2 to get the denominator as 100 so 8 over 50 will be 16 over 100 that is 16 percent and let's say we have 7 twentieths now as you can see we can easily multiply top and bottom by 5 to get the denominator as 100 so 7 times 5 is 35 7 over 20 is 35 hundreds or 35 percent it's as easy as that to convert 4 fifths to percentage we can see we multiply by 20 5 times 20 is 100 now we get uh, our de denominator as 100 and same number we multiply here 4 times 20 is 80 so it's 80 percent 4 over 5 or 4 fifths is 80 percent now sometimes we cannot multiply a number let's say we have 5 6 we cannot multiply this 6 by any whole number to get our denominator as 100 then what we do 
we just multiply this 5 6 by 100 percent 100 percent is 1 so it doesn't change the value so just be with me here 5 6 will become 5 times 100 is 500 so 500 over 6 that can be cancelled by 2 to get 250 over 3 that is 80 3 whole number 1 third and remember to put this percent sign because it's same here it just uh, uh, it's uh, actually we multiplied by 100 percent that is 100 over 100 and we have converted 5 over 6 to percentage that is 83 whole number one third now there are some important percentages that that are worth knowing because they appear in all the uh, classes and exams frequently uh, and you should know them let me write it with black here so they are equivalents 10 percent is one tenth one tenth 20 percent is one fifth uh, 25 percent is one fourth or one quarter and 50 percent is one half and you know let me write 75 percent is three quarters and uh, most of the uh, math questions that are percentage questions can be solved easily and mentally actually uh, if you know these percentage equivalents. Converting between percentages and decimals it's an easy matter because when we uh, express percentage in a fraction the denominator is always 100. So if we want to change 60 percent to a decimal sorry 65 percent to a decimal we know that 65 percent means 65 over 100 so 65 divided by 100 is 0. Point, let's write it here 0. 0.65 and we have converted it to decimal exactly same way 7 percent will be equal to 0 0.07 because 7 percent means 7 divided by 100 and that is 0, 0 percent. Now let us do uh, decimals to percentages. Let us say we have 0 0.3 and we want to convert it to uh, percentage we just multiply it by 100 percent that will become 30 percent. So 0 0.3 is equal to 30 percent and same way 0 0.77 will be 77 percent. We sometimes need to find a percentage of a number like if we are given 20 percent discount on a on an item that we want to purchase. So when we see 10 percent of anything is actually one tenth and it is very easy to find. Now if 10 percent is so easy so are the multiples of 10 like 20 percent, 5 percent, uh, 30 percent. So 10 percent of 70 we can mentally see is 7. So 20 percent must be double of that that is 14. So 20 percent of 70 is 14 or let us say 15 percent of 60 here we know that 15 percent is 10 percent and 5 percent 10 percent plus 5 percent what we can do here is 10 percent of 60 is 6 and 3 percent of 60 is 3 and when we add them it is 9. So, 15 percent of 60 is 9. Now let us do a little harder one 7 and a half percent of let us say 80. 
now we spot here that this seven and a half is actually three times of two and a half right two and a half plus two and a half plus two and a half they add up to seven and a half and we also spot that this two and a half is one fourth of ten two and a half two and a half two and a half and two and a half so first we find two and a half percent of eighty and then we can multiply it by three two and a half percent times three is seven and a half percent right to get the final answer so right away we can see 10 percent of 80 is let me change the color 10 percent of 80 is 8 5 percent must be half of that that is 4 and two and a half percent is half of that that is 2 now 2 times 3 is 6 and that's actually the answer here seven and a half percent of it is six i hope i did not confuse you to find three percent of five thousand let me tell you that one percent is one hundredth so we can find one percent of any number by just dividing it by hundred so we find 1% of 5000 and then multiply the result by 3 because we need 3% and that will be our final answer. So 1% of 5000 is just divide 5000 by 100 that is 50 and 3% 3 is 3, per 3 times 50 that is 150. So 3% of 5000 is 150. To find let us say 7% of 3 we find 1% of this 3 that is 0 0.03 just divide 3 by uh, 100 which means we just shift the point 2 places decimal point 2 places on the left and multiply it by 7 because we need 7% so 7 times 0 0.03 is 0 0.21 that is our answer for 7% of 3. Now let us say we have 37 percent of 20. So we find again we find 1 percent of 20 that is 0 0.2 because we shifted the point 2 places on the left and then we multiply it by 37 because we need 37 percent that is 7.2 and that is our final answer. Sometimes we need to form our own percentages like if we are asked what percent is 2 of 5 and we had this similar questions but instead of percentage in the previous lessons we had fractions here. Here what fraction is 2 of 5. So in that case we did 2 fifth and in this case the only difference is we have to convert this to fifth to percentage by multiplying two fifths by hundred percent that is forty percent and if the question is for example what percentage is 30 centimeters of 1 meter here we need to keep the same units so think of this 1 meter as 100 centimeters so answer here is 30 out of 100 that is 30 percent now if we have this question Jane got 15 marks out of 20 what percentage mark did she get so in this case we will do 15 out of 20 15 20th times 
100 percent that will give us 75 percent or what we can do is another option is that we learned in previous lessons that we can multiply both numerator and the denominator by 5 to get the denominator as 100 and 15 times 5 is 75 in both the cases we will get the same answer 75 percent. 